Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche and we are currently here on one of these snow islands actually preparing to send our creatures off to a harder snow island uh, but for now we are just trying to get settled in and gather some food so we have gotten quite a bit we're still at around 200 and uh, that's not too bad that's about what we started with uh, but we are trying to make sure that we uh, continue to get more and more food so that, because I don't know if this is going to be like the old hard snow islands, which were pretty much you have to hunt just to survive. But if they are, we're going to need a lot of food to be able to go try to find some more creatures from the ice like Von Kuvan was. Uh, Von Kuvan came from the ice block on this island, and he actually has this hammer tail gene, which we've uh, managed to get into our family uh, through mutation, but we do want to try and uh, breed him at some point because we want to breed in this H immunity. So we'll probably try and get him into at least our Baryuna line, if not our other line as well. Uh, we'll probably work with him some there and uh, start trying to figure out, get all that sorted. We'll probably get that sorted out before we leave for the next island because it's going to be a lot more difficult once we get there, I have a feeling. So we're going to go ahead and start a new day. I try not to take advantage of the rain glitch that happens from time to time. And uh, we will make sure we're gathering food. And we will gather from here. And uh, Kukuku, our blind wanderer. Oh, that's right. I forgot he doesn't have poison fang, but he's on his last day anyway, so it worked out. Um, I'm sorry, Kukuku. Um... Uh, but he's about to pass away as well, and then our defenders, Lanasi and Duke Roku, are going to kind of linger around here. They are from our Baryuna line, and they are both very, very strong, and uh, that strength should hopefully help them uh, be able to defend. We're getting ready to say goodbye to several of our older Baryuna creatures as well. Kuma Mesisi is getting ready to pass away as well. And we want to make sure that we're gathering uh, these acorns and gathering from this berry bush as well. And then Isana is probably going to end up being a defender. So right now our defenders are in pink. Pink is kind of the extra color that we have that we don't typically use a lot of. And so we'll leave these guys here for now to help keep her warm. And then a lot of you guys are saying we should try to get Big Body in for our defender line. Where are they? Yeah, they're right here. And uh, I think that's a good idea, so we'll probably try and do that, because Big Body gives extra strength and it also gives cold resistance. So I think we'll try to get Big Body in, and we'll try to get Hammer Tail in. So we'll put that for Kiro. He will have, if we have it, oh, we don't actually have it yet, oh. Um, hmm. I don't know if it's going to unlock properly. Hopefully it will. We may have to try and look and see which of our creatures have big body in their genetics because we still ha should have some. Uh, that's a bit of a problem, so otherwise then we'll give him the hind legs and the hammer tail. So we have hammer tail down here, and we've got the Baryuna you know, hind legs here. So let's look and see on our family tree if we have, where is it, big body. Where did it go? Right here. So a lot of them have it secondary. So Tanu, Vanta, Dutaro, Rovan, Nuku, Duke Roku. Uh, Duke Roku is one of our defenders. We looked at Tanu, Mikosi, Anurana, Krace. Okay, Krace, I think, is one of our... Yes, Krace is... Um... And then Kuma Misisi. Uh, Krace, though, is one of our breeding creatures. And Kuma Misisi has it as well. And Kokora... Kokora passed away, so let's see... Out of these guys, Carace has C and Star. Uh, do we have any C and B? Dukuroku is C and B. C and Star. C and B. And then these guys are all... It seems to be fairly prevalent in our, um, our Poison Fang line. Our Poison Fang line, we eventually want to get the armor body to help defend them, because they're going to be, if they start, if they continue to have the double nimble fingers, they're not going to be very able to defend themselves. A lot of our older creatures have it fully. So let's see, Lanasi has CB. Are we able, Kukuku has it fully. 
Do we want to try and breed with Kukuku? DH. And then Christ can't breed. Did we? We used up Kumume CC's moves already. Hmm. Do we have. Isana. Does Isana have it? No, Isana doesn't. Um. She couldn't make it over there. On the Isla. Hmm. We might be able to do this if we're cautious about it. Hmm. No, I don't know if we can. Let's see, because he has it. He has it, um. But he has it on his first gene slot. Maybe we'll try and breed AE. Maybe we'll try and breed these guys with him. We don't really want his blind genes in there, though, so let's make sure we get. Uh, that out, and then he has albinism, and he also has these frog feet that we probably don't want to have in the family. So let's try and give him the normal hind legs, and then Anasi won't be able to because she's going to pass way too soon. So let's see, and then let's have these guys keep gathering and keep gathering. Uh, East Kosi, was she one of the ones that has big body? No, she wasn't. Alright. We'll have her clear some of this way. And then Von Kuban has H and K. So we want to figure out HK. C Star. We could actually breed these guys potentially. And then uh yeah, it's gonna be a problem because the um if we look in the mutation menu, it wasn't showing up properly. Uh, oops, if we find a creature that has an open mutation menu. Karais is going to be especially important because she does have this big body. We might be able to pass it on just through her, C-Star, and then KB. So she and Kiro are going to be uh, breeding. They're going to be mates. And then Racy and Karovan are going to come this way. Whoops, we'll find a place to move them. <laughs> uh, let's make sure we gather... And shake the tree, continue to gather. And Mikosi, continue to gather and shake the tree. And then Kumanuduk can gather as well. And then she doesn't, Lala does not have it. But like, if I look at the mutation menu here, um, the issue we had with big body, okay, spiky body, you have to receive attack. Uh, sometimes, unless, you know what, cold climate might be, um, it might be where it has to be really cold, like it maybe it'll have a blue tinge because when we went to the really hot places, we're gonna destroy some of these berry bushes because I don't think we're gonna have any full-time creatures over here. Um, but when we went to the really hot places, they had a red tinge, so maybe it's not a glitch. Maybe it just has to be even colder than this. We will see. We can't attack that crabbit, unfortunately. Oh, maybe we can. Yes, we can. Okay. We're gonna have them keep working on it. Uh, Isana, perhaps, can uh, move this way. And fish, perhaps. And then we'll have some of these guys come closer. Rokir can stay here. Ana Isla is going to pass away, it, unfortunately. So we'll have her spend her last day up on this stump keeping watch. And I think that's it. We'll go ahead and start a new day. Oh. Oh, wow. We had... He passed away right on the skeleton of one of the... Oh. I, I feel like they probably had a special friendship because she was kind of... She kind of looked out for him. And, um... I, looks like she didn't actually end up getting pregnant. Darn it. I thought she had. Uh, but... I feel like they did have sort of a special friendship because she kind of looked out for him because uh, he was blind, he couldn't see. And uh, so Kumo Missisi might actually see K-Star. Does he have it? It's not going to be worth it just for that, I think. It's not going to be worth the risk of having a, a baby with an illness. Let's bring Isana over here. These guys are here basically to keep watch in case a predator shows up. And uh, these guys 
some of them can continue on, but they're going to attack. Oh, uh, let's see. So we can get over there. I'm going to gather and gather, and then we'll have Tanu jump over here. And uh, so our food is going up right now, which is a good thing, because we're not really frantically breeding. Karais has actually a lot of good genes because she has the double hammer tail too. The one thing she doesn't have is the Baryina hind legs. So we're gonna um, we're gonna give her the Baryina hind legs. So these guys, I'm gonna start breeding right away because we want to try to get as many options. Ideally, what we want is to have male and female with contrasting immunity that have the secondary big body gene, and that can be kind of hard to get. So we want to start breeding these guys as soon as we can. And that was probably inefficient. Um, oops. Let us... Okay, we can't shake the tree again. I guess it wasn't then. And a Kiravan. So, Racy... Let's see. Skosi can maybe come this way a little bit. Um, Von Kuvan can step back. I want to get them away from this mole hole because we want the mole to uh, come back at some point. And Racy cannot breed with him. So, Kiravan will come over here, perhaps. And a Ricey will move over here as well. We don't want them to be too far away from this uh, this new um, this new port, but we don't want them to be. Um... Yeah, I don't think she is going to uh, to find a spot. We'll let her spend her last day in the hot spring, getting warmed up. Um, but we don't want them to be too far away from the ports either, so that their descendants would have a hard time getting there if they end up being the generation that moves out. Uh, so let's make sure as well. We've gathered. Kumamesisi is going to pass on soon, but she can rest assured knowing that her the generations to come will be defended, and uh, her genes will pass on. We'll go ahead start a new day. We'll say goodbye to her. Oh. Oh. So I guess that probably warmed her up, but. Uh, that was her last day. It's always a little bit sad when they end up dying. And let's look here. So Coco. Coco has the big body gene. And are the horns... Are we getting the antler gene working? <clears throat> I think we have... Yeah, cold climate doesn't see... Either it's not active here or it's not working. So Kiravan. We'll destroy this and then come over here. Uh, East Coast. See, I'm actually going to have them destroy that because we don't have anybody over here. Um, and then Von Kuvan will kind of come over in this area as well. And they can kind of explore this area. These guys can continue to explore up here and uh, make their way this way. Come up here, destroy this, and then settle in down here. It's nice to be able to destroy the rocks, I will say that for sure. Uh, let's make sure that Honorana and Kiro Duke continue to uh, be able to gather. And we will uh, shake the tree. Oh goodness, that was almost a disastrous misclick. <laughs> um, almost bad, but thankfully not quite. So let's make sure we gather these and then shake the tree. She can gather this and then come here and open the shell. And uh, these guys, we want to keep breeding to make sure we can get that gene in if possible. I'm gonna have Kumanudu sit over here so that the moles, because I think, can they hear them? I think some of those are mole holes. There's moles over here. Um, but we will start breeding these guys soon as well. We just don't entirely want them to uh, to overwhelm the food supply with new babies. <laughs> that is what we are trying to avoid right now. Most of the babies that aren't uh, genetically uh, suitable will end up going over here, though, to help explore. So that'll hopefully help us. Let's see. So we also had Kirnu. So these are male and female. Um, and they do both have the hammer tail. And uh, Kirnu has the big body CK. CK, unfortunately, they have the same genes, though. So they cannot breed unless we absolutely have to have them breed. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of an issue. Uh, we could potentially 
uh, have a lot of, um, of sick babies if we're not careful, so we do need to keep an eye on that. And let's try and, and dig some in, or dig for food in the water some if we can. Because uh, eventually these guys should be able to get it out. And these guys, I think... So there is a mole. I think, do we want East Coasty? East Coasty is cold. East Coasty, though, could breed. I don't really want her making a nest there, though. So we'll have... I'm gonna have her come down here, because we don't want her to be cold, either. We want them to all warm each other up, but we'll have her make a nest over here, eventually. And there's already a mole back there, too. So we probably should have some kind of linger in that area. There we go. And it's always good to light up the area. I don't know if these pine trees are what spawn balance bears or not, uh, but we ha so far we haven't really seen any um, balance bears or arctic ram foxes yet. But if we do, I don't think we're going to have too much issue with them. We also have three healing plants, so even if some of our creatures do end up taking some damage, it's not going to be the end of the world. So let's see, we'll have- our defenders are going to kind of end up sitting around a bit, uh, just to keep an eye on things and be able to hopefully get there if there is a problem. We'll try to have them keep busy in any way they can, though. Andro Cure Cure is going to pass away on this coming turn. Uh, we will unfortunately be bidding goodbye to him. Let us go ahead and start a new day. Goodbye, Rokir Kir. Um, oh, and that is exactly why we want to be able to have our defenders. So, East Kosi is going to make a nest here, and uh, her and Von Kuvan may breed a little bit more. Um, that's a baby bear, Yina. Let's see, is there any purpose to inviting it in the family? Um... I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead and do it, because it's better to have a friendly Baryuna than an enemy Baryuna. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, let it be friendly. And then Lara does not have the uh, the big body traits, so we don't really want to breed her, probably. Uh, but Kirnu is a potential breeding creature, and so is Coco. Let us make sure as well that we are uh, cracking the the acorns when we find well in the shells when we see them um oops i kind of did that in poor order it seems and then we can try and dig up food there is there anything more we can do over here not too much let's make sure we're gathering though uh because as we are uh, breeding more our food supply is starting to go down a bit so we want these guys to uh, keep an eye on things, have our defenders spaced out so that if we do run into danger, which so far it looks like we have not, uh, that we will be able to handle it. Can any of these guys reach this bunny? Oh, yep, apparently it didn't run away. So let's come down here, and we'll come down here. And we're not gonna go off to the deserty place again. Who has a leech? Who's got a leech? It's Nuku. Alright, Kiro can just step over here and get rid of the leech and then come back. And, uh, but yeah, we're not gonna go off to that area again because we want to look for more of the genes frozen in the ice. Do we gather from these? We did gather from those, okay. There we go. We'll make sure we continue to gather. And gather from here, gather from here. If we have several creatures gathering at least, th uh, at least two food each per turn. Uh, that's pretty good. And then Rocco has Starby. Unfortunately, though, she did not. Uh, she also did not get the big body trait. So I don't want to have to breed these guys if we don't have to. But if we have to, eh, so be it. Um, let us at least make sure we are gathering, though, so that hopefully we'll still have enough food. And then Kuminuduk can keep trying to dig up that area. We still have the baby Baryina here, but we're gonna kind of advance a little bit, perhaps out this way, and then let's come over here. Let's try and to put for, well, 
it's gonna... We want to try and get his H immunity in, and we didn't the last time. So we'll try for that. These guys can continue to explore. Basically, their purpose is just to find new areas and potentially new sources of food. But we do have to keep them kind of close together so that they don't get too cold if that uh, becomes an issue. And hopefully it will not. Let's shake the tree. There we go. We'll make sure that everybody over here is doing all right with food gathering. And then over here, again, all right with food gathering. And we had Von Duke, who does have big body, and he has star K. Does that work? Uh, Coco has CK, so pretty close. So these guys would be better. Uh, Von Duke is better matched than Kiernu. Oh, darn it. Um, so that's... Oh, no, I didn't want to move her there. I wanted to move Roko. Uh, but let's see. And then Lara is going to probably end up going off to explore. Because we want to try to get that big body in if we can. So she'll head this way. That's a leech. Thankfully, she's not quite close enough for it to be an issue. And then Lana still didn't get the genes we were looking for. And we'll breed them again. And Izme might come over here and gather from that. We'll make sure we're gathering from down here as well. And keep trying to gather that. Unfortunately, it's not working out so well. Uh, we'll make sure we're gathering from these food sources as well. And our food is still going up. So let's come up here. Come up here. And, uh... There is a clown koi nearby. We're gonna just try and clear away a lot of this area if we can. We saw the friendly bear Yuna lingering around. And Kirovan has found a nest. Perhaps we'll move Racy over here as well. They can destroy that berry bush. Um, and perhaps we'll have them start breeding over here. Coco will stay nearby and hopefully be able to sneak up on that um, that mole soon, one of them at least. We'll go ahead and start a new day, and then, all right. Still no, no scary sounds. We have Star K, and she does a big body. So again, the one we're not getting is the B gene. I don't know why we're not getting that one. And then is the mole, the mole's not out again. So let's gather from here, and I'm not breeding these guys until closer to the end because we want to um, try to store up more food. We don't want to have a bunch of creatures that uh, we don't want to have a bunch of creatures that can't um, can't keep up with the food or too many for the food to be able to feed. Okay, Komeko actually has the um, the H and B gene, so I think we're gonna keep her. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we will try to, we'll put in um, fertility and we will put in the Baryena snout. And hopefully, and then for whatever next generation we can deal with the claw and we can deal with the hind legs. So she should be good. East Kosi can now be, that's the Baryena, okay. That was our Baryena. Uh, Komiko will be marked as an alpha Kirkir. -kir can come this way and start to explore and I'm gonna pop up here and we'll have oh dear um I'm gonna start breeding these guys and I'm gonna have Kirovan step over here to babysit just so we can uh, grab that and then come back and then he'll start moving this way again and as far as these guys go Lara needs to keep it moving and I don't... Well, we had one other who did not have any. Coco has it. Uh, and that would be Roko. So Roko does not have any big body. Which means that he will not be coming. So we're going to come this way. And these guys, do either of them have big body? Racy doesn't. And Kirovan doesn't. So we'll, they're kind of our reserve breeders. But we probably won't use a lot of their a lot of their children because they also um they have the same immunity genes basically 
So let's have these guys continue to explore as well, or maybe try and fish. Oh, and succeed at fishing, apparently. That's a uh, that's kind of special. That normally does not happen. And uh, let us see. Nope, that didn't work out so well. But we will also t uh, we'll have these guys hang out over here. Keep the defenders nearby. Uh oh, we have uh, lost one of our um, one of our gatherers though, which is not a good thing. We will have to uh, try and have some of them hop back and forth, perhaps, which is not the best option. So, but anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.